um, I, I ended up having a, a decade long business career. I uh, majored in business and went to work on, on Bay Street in Toronto. And um, then later on in corporate strategy and uh, s- just basically put my writing aside for years. Um, and and I'm, you can probably relate to this. You, know, you, you hit this point in your life where you're like, what am I, what am I doing? What do I really want to do? You know, like how am I, I'm not, I'm feeling kind of like dissatisfied. And I, you know, there's something, there's something else out there. I don't really know what it is. Um, and so I, I actually did like this whole career visioning exercise and it was part of like a, a, um, it was, it was actually for my day job. So I was at, at this point in my career where I needed to like figure out what I wanted to, what position I was going to go into next in the company. So, you know, I had to be like, I sort of had to make a decision. Well, do I want to go into marketing? Do I want to try and go into general management? Like what, what path do I want to take? And I did this whole career visioning thing and they asked me all these deep questions. Like, um, what did you most enjoy doing when you were a child? And like, what has always come easiest to you? And where, when are you most happy? Like all these you know, so existential, wow. so existential. <laughs> and, um, my, uh, and the result of this was like, I want to quit my day job and become a science fiction and fantasy author. So <laughs> I don't think that <laughs> corporate visioning exercise really paid off, uh, the way that like my boss at the time would have expected it to. Um, but it, it really was a, like an epiphany for me. And it was, uh, it took many more years to kind of get there. Um, because you don't generally just be like, mm-hmm, I'm a writer now. I mean, there's, uh, there was a whole transition process where I was working my day job and cutting, I managed to cut back the hours, um, in order to be able to start writing regularly and taking writing classes. And, um, then when I had a full manuscript, I was trying to get published. And also I had small children at that time. So that is that whole period of my life is just a complete blur. Like the ages when my kids were, my son was two, my daughter was five and I was working full time and I was trying to like, um, pick up writing again. And it was just, it's all just like, I would, I would like drop them off at like swim, uh, class and I would have like 25 minutes and I would just be sitting in my car, um, trying to, trying to do some writing. And then like, I'd have to shut the laptop and hustle in and collect my kids. And so, yeah, it was just. It, it, it was just a blur it's, and um but now i look back on it and i think wow that w- i was actually remarkably efficient i mean i didn't sleep much but like i was a really efficient writer at that time because i had so many constraints um i also had none of the obligations that i have as an author professionally now in terms of dealing with my publisher and editing and cop- and promotion and teaching and all publicity and all of that stuff. So it was just like whatever little moments of time I could carve out of my life to write. uh, That's, that's what I did. 